Monica is doing Dancing with the Stars, how do you think she would fare on the show? Hey, I'm very used to walking in heels already. Have either of you guys approached? <laughs> I just want to know how you guys are doing quarantine, this pandemic. We're living in, in kind of wild times right now. Lexi, you want to go first? Yeah, um, so pretty much like our whole um, way we run things over here at Navarro is way different. But I mean, it's all to make sure like everyone is safe and like um, not spreading any germs. We have to wear masks to practices and we're actually practicing in small groups so that like people don't like mesh together and like spread germs. We're not even outside of practice. Like we're supposed to stay like with our groups if we do like hang out with anyone and um that's gonna go on for a little bit and eventually like we'll work our way back into like everyone getting to be together again and we're all just like waiting for that moment that's crazy so you guys are both like actively in school right now both practicing with navarro and that's just the way that life goes so what lexi was saying we're basically having to do like you know kind of precautions and go it's we're all just kind of planning by ear like because i feel like things are constantly changing so we go we take each week by week so uh we're doing really really well though we're getting a lot done and we're doing it really safely so uh everything's looking really good over here but it's still we're still able to thankfully practice together because our sport is a you know, team interactive team. sport. We're having to, you know, be be up each other's, you know, in, your, in each other's face. <laughs> <thing, so. laughs> How's that gonna work? But we're making it work. So everything is doing really, really well. The team's good. And uh, I'm really excited because we get to reunite with our team, like uh, our whole team in about a week or so. Wow, are you guys preparing for a specific competition right now? We have Daytona, which everybody knows from uh, the show. And basically we train all year long for one competition and we'll have like show offs right before Daytona, but that's the main goal. So Daytona is in end of March, beginning of April, falls around that time. So right now we're just really, really training for that and hoping that everything runs smoothly and that there will be a Daytona for this next upcoming season. How do you guys, yeah, seriously, how do you guys practice with masks on and like, have you had to get tested at all? So for us right now, we are, we do not get COVID tested unless someone is showing symptoms, which everybody right now is perfectly healthy. Okay. And uh, we're all doing super, super good. We've been given rules and regulations to follow. So uh, until someone starts showing symptoms, they get quarantined and then everybody that has been around, that's why we're putting, getting put in groups. Are you guys confident that Daytona will happen? I'm going to speak it into existence and manifest it into reality because Honestly, it was really heartbreaking for it to like be canceled last year and we're just gonna hope that it doesn't like happen again and that we get to do what we came here to do. Yeah. Are there cameras following you guys right now? <laughs> Not right now. No. Yeah. Um, right now we're just happy to be here. Okay. <laughs> I like the KG response. I do want to talk about what you guys are doing this weekend with Athleta Girl. We're going to do this sort of virtual event. So sort of tell me what fans who join can expect and why you wanted to be part of this. So I'm very, very uh, excited because although sports are on pause due to COVID, Athleta Girl is putting on an interactive hour session of just, you know, a good good little workout and getting everybody to move and just, you know, be normal and be athletic. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope that it'll like inspire some people to like, you know, get up and get active because, you know, whenever you're in a state of like, you know, being used to like being able to do everything that we were doing before Corona, it can be like really like kind of almost depressing whenever you like don't get to do any of those stuff anymore. And I mean, I experienced the same thing whenever we um, had to, you know, pack our bags and leave Navarro because of Corona. Then 
you know, sitting around for so long gets like really exhausting. And sometimes it's hard to find like motivation, like to get up and active. So like, I hope that me and Gabby can actually like inspire some people to like, you know, you know, have the motivation to get up and get moving with us. Very exciting time for cheer because you guys also got six Emmy nominations, which is amazing. I mean, how did you, A, react to that news? I was um. so like excited <laughs> about it. I was like not expecting it to like go that far at all. And so whenever I found out, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, yeah. This is crazy. Like I was in something that like went this far and like everyone else I'm around is like probably feeling the same thing. Like this is crazy. Um, it's funny because kind of what the same thing Lexi was saying, you know, when you're filming something, you don't see the magic behind it until it's complete. Like, you know, you're like, oh yeah, we're getting filmed, but like you don't see what's actually happening behind the scene. And like, you know, I think when they were filming, I, I could tell like just the way that we were doing things that it was going to be something special. But of course, like you don't really see the full effect until you sit back and you're like, oh, you finally get to see it. Right. So, but it's definitely very, very flattering. Like just to get one is hard. So that the fact that we got six, I mean, no one knew that it was going to be like, oh, like this show is going to be. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> the show was gonna be as good as we thought like and now you know looking back when we first started filming we were like who would have thought that we would be sitting here later with six you know emmy nominations it's just insane have you guys made a plan to film a group acceptance speech if you guys win yeah so we've been uh we've been uh kind of just on the you know <laughs> we, we're just kind of like waiting that for them to direct us what to do, but uh, I think Lexi can agree. We're just kind of playing it by ear, so. Yeah. Could you guys pre-tape a performance? Is that being talked about? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure exactly what we're going to be doing, but um, whatever's asked of us, I'm confident that we'll put it together in a very, like, um very well thought out way okay and a performance for the taping would be um a pretty fun idea so so that's um, always put on a show <laughs> <laughs> is that what you guys are really practicing for right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah girl we 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 have so many things like that we're juggling right now monica is doing dancing with the stars how do you think she would do just because she's so used to being the coach and now she'll have a partner sort of leading things. With her determination, she could become a pro at anything. Like, if, if I can, like, um, see her doing a back walkover in high heel boots, then I know she can do anything. Like, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll yeah. do great, she's honestly. She's very used to walking in heels already. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like she's a really hard worker, and she is a coach, and she also sees a side of, like, you know, cause she did cheer back in the day. Like, so I think that she can take good criticism and I feel like she's a hard worker. So I think that she would kill it. Yeah, she definitely will kill it. Would either of you guys ever do Dancing with the Stars? Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I wanted to like, like if I did learn dancing, I kind of want to learn how to do like Hip hop dancing, I feel like that would be like super fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know about like um, formal dancing. I can't even wear heels. Were either of you guys approached? Oh, Gabby, you were. <laughs> yes, Gabby. Um, Did you have to turn it down? Well, Did you, Navarro? I mean, Girl, I keep it low key, but I mean, whatever happens in the future, I feel like it will be, you know, seen, but I would love to do it. I think it'd be a really, really amazing experience just because I feel like, first of all, I'm an athlete. So, I mean, I'm super competitive in nature. And also I do think that uh, it's funny, my grandma, she's Colombian and 
she loves dancing like me and her watch dancing with the stars all the time like i'll go over to her house and she just loves it she's like the way they move their hips it's just amazing <laughs> it's so good i'm like and yeah. it just sounds funny because, you know, I feel like I've always wanted to learn how to dance. So I think it'd be an amazing experience maybe next year. And then I know you guys don't really know yet, but is there a slight chance that a season two following you guys could ever potentially maybe happen? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Anything is possible, so I mean, I, yeah. I know it's hard to be like, because you're so anxious, but don't worry, everything, whatever happens is going to happen, and it's anything is possible, so. What's meant to be will be.